Good morning. Welcome to Salem Lutheran Church and School in Afton, Missouri. My name is Pastor Wayne Hebner. It is Monday, March 29th, 2021, the Monday of Holy Week. For our daily devotions, we invite you to follow the order of daily prayer from Lutheran Service Book. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the, in the morning, morning, I prepare, prepare a sacrifice, sacrifice for you, you and, and wash. My mouth is filled with your praise and, and with, with your, your glory, glory all, all the day. day. O Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth will, will declare, declare your, your praise. praise. Glory, glory be, be to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The Old Testament reading is from Isaiah chapter 50. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I turned not backward. I gave my back to those who strike, and my God helps me, therefore I have not been disgraced. Therefore I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God helps me. Who will declare me guilty? Behold, all of them will wear out like a garment. The moth will eat them up. Who among you fears the Lord and obeys the voice of his servant? Let him who walks in darkness and have no light trust in the name of the Lord and rely on his God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The epistle is from Hebrews chapter 9. When Christ appeared as a high priest of the good things that have come, then through the greater and more perfect tent, not made with hands, that is, not of this creation, he entered once for all into the holy places, not by means of the blood of goats and calves, but by means of his own blood, thus securing an eternal redemption. For if the sprinkling of defiled persons with the blood of goats and bulls and with the ashes of a heifer sanctifies for the purification of the flesh, how much more will the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God purify our conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Therefore, he is the mediator of a new covenant so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance since a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions committed under the first covenant. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 12th chapter. Glory, Glory to, you, to you, O Lord. Lord. Six days before the Passover, Jesus, therefore, came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. So they gave a dinner for him there. Martha served. And Lazarus was one of those reclining with him at the table. Mary, therefore, took a pound of expensive ointment made from pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, he who was about to betray him, said, why was this ointment not sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, 
But because he was a thief, and having charge of the money bag, he used to help himself to what was put into it. Jesus said, Leave her alone, so that she may keep it for the day of my burial. The poor you always have with you, but you do not always have me. When the large crowd of the Jews learned that Jesus was there, they came, not only on account of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests made plans to put Lazarus to death as well, because on account of him, many of the Jews were going away and believing in Jesus. The next day, the large crowd that had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, crying out, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, even the King of Israel. And Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, just as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion. Behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written about him and had been done to him. The crowd that had been with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead continued to bear witness. The reason why the crowd went to meet him was that they heard he had done this sign. So the Pharisees said to one another, You see that you are gaining nothing. Look, the world has gone after him. Now among those who went up to worship at the feast were some Greeks. So these came to Philip who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. And Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, you O Christ. Christ. Today's devotion is based on John chapter 12, verses 12 and 13, and is written by Pastor William Swirla. The next day, the large crowd that had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, crying out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, even the King of Israel. Hosanna, save us, Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. The people stripped fronds from palm trees and threw their coats on the ground to make a royal highway for their king who rode into the packed city on a donkey. The air was thick with excitement and tension. This was Jesus' grand entry. He was welcomed into his city as the Messianic king with shouts of Psalm 118 and echoes of Zechariah 9, verse 9. Behold, your king is coming to you. He came on a mount of peace, a donkey, not a horse. Yet this crowd was ready to make war, to overthrow the Romans, to restore the throne and the glory to Israel. And Jesus was their man. They had seen and heard of his raising Lazarus. The sign confirmed in their minds he was the one to redeem Israel. But God's ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. We have plans for God, the way he should work, and God has an eternal plan for us, in his Son, the way we should be saved. Jesus did come to the city to wage holy war, but it was one that he alone would fight. He did come to redeem Israel and the whole world, not from political oppression, but from bondage to sin, death, and the condemning sentence of the law. He came as a king, but on a borrowed donkey, a beggar king, we sing Hosanna and Blessed too, not in the streets, but in the liturgy. He comes to us also, lowly and humble, no longer on a donkey, 
but by way of the bread that is his body and the wine that is his blood, he comes as our king to give us the gifts of his reign. And we, his servants, rejoice in our king. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. We confess our Christian faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe believe in God, God, the the Father Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, Grant that in the midst of our failures and weaknesses, we may be restored through the passion and intercession of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day, when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I thank thank you, you, my my Heavenly heavenly Father, Father, through Jesus Jesus Christ, Christ, your dear dear Son, Son, that that you you have have kept kept me this this night from all harm and danger. danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless and preserve you. Amen. Amen.